Good morning and welcome to Sewing Talk Tuesday. This is episode six and today is June 25th, 2019. So I have over the last week um, worked on a couple of things. As you know, I did start quilting the disappearing nine patch quilt that I have right here. And when I started that, I um, boo-booed and thought that I would try something a little different in the quilting and it didn't turn out so well. So I had to rip out all of the quilting stitches that I put into the quilt. It took me three days to do it. <laughs> I don't recommend ever doing that. It was a real pain in the butt. Um, but here is the quilt. It is sandwiched. It is ready to be quilted. I'm going to show you where I had to seam rip. You can see where I seam rip there. Um, it was done on about a quarter of this quilt. I've got it folded up right now um, just to keep it together. But I am going to quilt this quilt and I will show you how I do that. And it will be a stippling stitch. So I'm going to just keep it simple and go with that because I know that I can do that. I'm very confident in my free motion stippling stitch quilting. Um, I tried to do a geometric shape on this and it just, it, it looked great when I was doing it and then I pulled it off the machine because I always like to pull it off and see how it looks overall as a design on the quilt and it just, it clashed. And so I had to, I had to take it out. So there's that quilt. Uh, the other thing that I worked on this weekend was I had my mom come over and we played a little bit with the Cricut Infusible ink. And so we made her a t-shirt and then I made myself a t-shirt of Miss Hello Kitty. And I love her as I announced in my last video how much I love Hello Kitty. <laughs> so now I have a Hello Kitty t-shirt. And... Let's see, what else should we dive into? Should we open this box? Let's open this box, because I haven't opened it yet. Um, this is from Michael. And honestly, I, I know what's in here, but I don't remember exactly what I purchased as far as design-wise. So you're gonna be the first to see it too. put that back on before I slice myself up, right? Do you like my new ring? Isn't that pretty? It's got the silver moonstones in it. Matches my, my heart necklace. I am extra jingly today. <laughs> That's just me. It's my personality. So, let's see. Oh, Oh, yay okay so this is a child's t-shirt it's a cricket they call them blanks this is a special t-shirt material that you have to use with infusible ink and I'm having so much fun with infusible ink right now so I've been I've been playing with that um, so that's from my my grandson and then I bought two more large t-shirts so I can make myself some more t-shirts or a friend a t-shirt. I just love playing with this stuff. It is awesome. That's the design. This is Cricut Infusible Ink Sheets. So you can see the black floral print and then just the regular black. Then of course just black because well, I like to use a lot of black. Oh, this one is so pretty. So this one has red. This is a four pack. The other two are two pack. But it comes with this red, this uh, black floral print, this more vibrant print, and then it looks like more black. <laughs> so we'll be playing with black <laughs> and more black. And then... Um, I have just regular black and then this buffalo plaid and I love plaid. I love it, love it, love it. I'm actually thinking about doing another Hello, T 
Hello t-shirt, Hello Kitty t-shirt in this because I just think it would be so freaking cute. All right, that's it for the crickets. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you because these are things that I love to do, you know, and um, I love to sew and I love to do different kinds of crafts. And so, you know, it doesn't have to be just one thing all the time. You gotta break it up and enjoy. So, my next thing, I'm pretty, pretty excited about this. And I get excited over very, very simple, small things, let me tell you. So, I'm going to share this with you. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed one. I bought the solid colors for the Cricut Infusible Ink pens. So, you can draw with these. And you can color things in and then you can press them down and it's it infuses into the fabric or whatever the surfaces that you're going to use. I'm going to use these on some coasters. Pretty exciting stuff, I'm telling you what. So, I when I am at work, I have a planner that I work with. Um, it's a Franklin Covey planner and it's, it's really cute. It's black and white and... Yeah, because, you know, I'm all about glitzy and all that stuff. Anyway, um, so I use one of those at work, and I was finding that I just didn't have en enough room between my work and my crafting stuff to really write down what I want to do. So yesterday I went to Michael's because they were having a sale, and I purchased a planner, an 18-month planner for the crafty author. So here is what it looks like. Isn't she beautiful? One of a kind. Because we are all one of a kind. And so this is my new planner. And it has the tabs and the calendar. And then it has, it goes by, by week. And it just has different designs for different months. Um, motivational quotes. I, I love this. And I'm so excited to start planning out my weeks and years and things that we're going to do here in the Crafty Authors craft room. So that way I won't be scrambling going, hmm, what am I going to do this week? because I find myself doing that more and more. Like when I first started, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And as I've done these projects, now I'm kind of like, oh, but I've already done that. What can I do that's different? So this will help me to plan better. Then I went ahead and bought some of these happy planner sheets that fit inside of my little planner so that I can take notes, you know, on things. And then I bought some of this really cute little grid paper. It's got some gold polka dots on it. And the reason that I purchased this is because I kind of want to start designing my own quilt blocks and showing you guys how I do it. So that will be something that is very new to me because I normally just use quilt blocks that, you know, that are kind of out there. Um, but I want to start seeing if I can design a little bit of my own and see what I can come up with as far as, um, quilting blocks and that kind of stuff. So stay tuned because that will be very interesting. I'm just saying. So that is all that I have for today. I want to thank you for joining me on The Crafty Author. If you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Uh, don't forget, I have a giveaway going on for the Crafty Author mug, coffee mug, that a winner will, those two winners will be announced on July 1st, 2019. I will post the link to the giveaway down below in the description box of this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you click the little bell, it'll give you some options on when you wanna be notified of when I post a video. But if you notify always, then you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I always post on Tuesdays and I post on Thursdays. And so that's it. Keep on crafting, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of your week.
Bye-bye.